Who do you think would win a fight between a velociraptor and a honey badger? Watch this episode carefully and then vote for your favorite in the comments. I am very curious to find out what do you think about this confrontation. The velociraptor, or the raptor, is one of the most famous dinosaurs ever, largely because of how they were used to such brilliantly scary effect in the Jurassic Park books and movies. In any case, although they have contributed enormously to the growing popularity of this species, these books and fiction films have led many to get the wrong idea about these dinosaurs. In reality, Velociraptor was a mid-sized dromaeosaurid, with adults measuring up to 2 meters long, half meter high at the hip, and weighing up to 15 kilograms or 33 pounds, though there is a higher estimate of about 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. Velociraptors had many traits found in modern-day birds, including their hinged ankles, swivel-jointed wrists, wishbones, forward-facing toes and their plumage. Studying the skulls of these animals, the scientists came to the conclusion that velociraptors had extremely sharp senses of smell and hearing. Velociraptors are considered some of the most intelligent dinosaurs, due to its large brain in relation to body size. But most likely, their intelligence was equal to that of today's average birds, and cannot be compared to that of modern mammals such as chimpanzees or dolphins. According to recent studies, it seems that Velociraptor was quite fast. Their muscular legs and long shins allowed them to take long steps and reach speeds estimated to reach 40 kilometers or 25 miles per hour. Despite the common depiction of raptors as cooperative pack hunters, there's very little evidence for such behavior. It seems that they were actually lone hunters using their claws to clutch rather than slash prey. By moving with their clawed toes lifted, Velociraptors kept their talons sharp enough to pierce prey. Once it was in their grasp, they likely finished the job with a jaw full of serrated teeth. Velociraptor may have used its sickle claw to pierce vital organs of the throat, such as the jugular vein, carotid artery, or trachea, rather than slashing the abdomen. The slashing theory was tested during a BBC documentary, The Truth About Killer Dinosaurs. The makers of the program made a fake velociraptor leg with a sickle claw and utilized a pork belly to recreate the dinosaur's prey. In spite of the fact that the sickle claw did penetrate the abdominal wall, it couldn't tear it open, demonstrating that the claw was not used to disembowel prey. Some researchers have launched the theory that the velociraptor used a hunting method very similar to that used today by some birds of prey. According to this, the velociraptor jumped on the body of the prey, nailing it to the ground under its own weight, stuck its claws in it and began to feed while the prey was still alive. In the end, the prey died of massive blood loss. I will not insist on the description of today's second fighter because we have talked about it in other episodes. For those interested I will leave the links in the description. I just want to warn you that, in terms of size, our fighters today are about the same, weighing a maximum of 15 to 16 kilograms, about 34 pounds. Remember that Jurassic Park is a fiction film that does not fully respect the scientific truth, so the Velociraptor is neither as big nor as intelligent as described in the famous series. On the other hand, Honey Badger is not as fierce as it is considered by many people. In fact, our fight today confronts two somewhat opposite animals. While the Velociraptor is a perfect hunter with a very high attack power, Honey Badger is a particularly difficult animal to kill, whose main quality is its defensive power. In any case, you have to keep in mind that none of the animals facing this episode normally used to kill prey larger than themselves. The most effective method by which the Velociraptor could gain a major advantage in this fight I think would be to attack the eyes of the honey badger with its claws. On the other hand, the honey badger could cripple the Velociraptor, its jaws being wide and strong enough to break its legs. The result of this fight seems extremely difficult to predict. So I'm glad that you will be the ones to decide the winner, and I will not have to. My vote will be in favor of the honey badger this time, although I am not a fan of this animal. I think it is smarter than its opponent and, in addition, I rely on its defensive abilities. So please vote for your favorite by commenting with hashtag raptor, respectively hashtag badger. For now, the score for the episode, Orca vs. Tylosaurus, is 10 to 8 in favor of Tylosaurus. Although more than 18 of you voted, only these votes were valid, because the others either omitted the hashtag sign, or misspelled the name of your favorite animal. You can still vote for the winner of that episode, and those who voted wrong can edit your comments and correct the votes, so that next time they are taken into account. Thank you for your attention and support. Take care of yourself and your loved ones.